Hi guys, I'm doing another quick fire questions today. It's a chemistry topic and it's all to do with chemical tests. So tests for oxygen, hydrogen, carbon dioxide, and we're gonna do positive and negative ion tests as well. You're gonna to have to be very precise with your answers here. They're not gonna hold any prisoners, so no squeaky pop tests, please. Anyway, as with all my quick fire questions, listen to the question, pause the video, have a go answering it, and see if your answer matches with my idea of the perfect answer. So, question one. What is the test for oxygen? A glowing splint relights. What is the test for hydrogen? A lit splint burns with a squeaky pop. What is the test for carbon dioxide? This gas will turn lime water cloudy or milky. What is the test for chlorine gas? Bleaches damp litmus paper. What is the test for ammonia? Turns damp red litmus paper blue and it must be damp. What is the chemical test for water? Turns white anhydrous copper sulfate blue. What is the physical test for water? Boil the substance. If it boils at 100 degrees or freezes at zero degrees, actually that's a different point, then you know you've definitely got water. How do you carry out a flame test? First of all, you need to get a clean nichrome wire. You need to dip it in hydrochloric acid to make sure it's extra specially clean. You dip it in the sample and then you hold it in a roaring blue flame and make sure you point out that it's roaring blue. What colour does lithium go? Well, the flame will go red or the specific shade is crimson. What colour will sodium go? Orange. What colour will potassium go? Lilac. What colour will calcium go? Brick red. This time we're going to be carrying out precipitation reactions. So what reagent will we add this time? That will be sodium hydroxide. So describe the colour precipitate formed with copper. That will be a blue precipitate. Iron 2. That will be a green precipitate. And iron 3. That will be a brown precipitate. Some of you might need to know about calcium and magnesium and aluminium. So what colour precipitate do they produce when reacting with sodium hydroxide? And that is a white precipitate. And just remember that the aluminium precipitate will dissolve if excess sodium hydroxide is added. How do we test for ammonium ions? So you're going to add sodium hydroxide and you're going to create a choking gas which will smell of ammonia, but we need to double check what that ammonia, what that gas is. So therefore we do the test we were doing before, which is we test it on damp red litmus paper and it should turn blue. Name a safety procedure when carrying out this test. It needs to be carried out in a fume cupboard because those fumes are toxic. Moving on to the negative ions, so we're testing for the halide ions, group 7. What two reagents will we add this time? Nitric acid and silver nitrate. What is the role of the nitric acid? Well, it's to remove any carbonate ions which might interfere with our test. Describe the results when silver nitrate is added to a substance containing chloride ions where well, you will get a white precipitate. How about with bromide? That will be a cream precipitate. And iodide? That will be a yellow precipitate. Provide an ionic equation for the reaction between silver nitrate and chloride ions. And that will be Ag plus plus Cl minus forms AgCl, which is a solid, hence why it's a precipitate. What reagents are used when testing for sulfates? So you're going to add hydrochloric acid, you're going to add barium chloride, and what result will you see if sulfates are present? You will see a white precipitate, which is barium sulfate. How do you test for carbonate ions? This is the most straightforward one. Effectively, you need to get the substance to fizz, so you need to add any acid to it. It will fizz, test that gas that's doing the fizzing um, with lime water, and clearly because it's a carbonate, it should be carbon dioxide so you will see the lime water turning cloudy or milky. Right, that was a nice short video. I hope you found it helpful, guys, and good luck with all your work and revision. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with my latest uploads. See you.